2017 Al Latin in Aha Map.6 colon 00, zero Syriana position 70 plus 3 April 2017 the tide Lib evening hours 2 children app 20 affected dot 4 April 2017 Khan Sheikh Khan Ibnib 06 colon 30 Tara Al Sham 58 100 plus 300 400 plus 11 January 2018 Dal the Damascus Government 622 January 2018 East Galta 110 Damascus Govern with 211 February 2018 Down the Damascus Govern with 34 February 2018 Sarai Kabai with 9 16 February 2018 Aranda Afri Aleppo Govern with Syrian Democratic Forces 626 February 2018 Down the Damascus Govern with 1137 April 2018 Down the Rift Damesh at least 42 N3 117. 24 November 2018 Aleppo Aleppo Syrian Army 48. 118. Or 107. 119. 19 May 2019 Caban Latakia Morning 00. Investigations. The UN mission to investigate alleged use of chemical weapons. The United Nations mission to investigate allegations of the use of chemical weapons in the Syrian Arab Republic was a fact-finding mission to investigate possible use of chemical weapons in Syria. On the 16th of September, 2013, the mission published a report with focus on the Galta attacks. 46. On the 12th of December, 2013, the UN mission delivered its final report. 38. The Unearth Commission of Inquiry. The Independent International Commission of Inquiry on the Syrian Arab Republic was set up by the United Nations Human Rights Council, UNRWA, on 22 March 2011 to investigate human rights violations during the Syrian Civil War. In its report dated the 12th of February, 2014 they confirmed the use of sarin in the case of Khan al-Assal. The 19th of March, 2013, Sarakov. The 29th of April, 2013, and Al-Ghalta. The 21st of August, 2013. The Unearth Commission also found that the sarin used in the Kalalazal attack bore the same unique hallmarks as the sarin used in the Galta attack and indicated that the perpetrators likely had access to chemicals from the Syrian army's stockpile. 45. In none of the incidents, however, was the Commission's evidentiary threshold met in regards to identifying the perpetrators of the chemical attacks. 125. In its report dated the 13th of August, 2014, they accused government forces of using chlorine gas in eight incidents in Idlib and Hama governorates in April 2014.48. In March 2017, the Commission documented conclusive evidence that Syrian aircraft dropped toxic industrial chemicals including chlorine between the 21st of July and 22 December 22, during the final period of the Battle of Aleppo, 2012-2016.126, OPCWUN Joint Mission in Syria. The OPCWUN Joint Mission in Syria was established in October, 2013. The mission was tasked to oversee the elimination of the Syrian chemical weapons program. The first OPCWUN team arrived in Damascus on 1 October 2013. The mission officially ended on 30 September 2014. The Russian Khan Alazal investigation. Vitaly Cherkin, Russia's ambassador to the UN said that its Syrian ally had asked Russian experts to look into the Khan al-Assal attack. A Russian team investigated the Khan al-Assal incident on the 19th of March 2013.38. The Russian UN ambassador Vitaly Cherkin delivered a report with analysis of the samples taken at the site to the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon on the 9th of July 2013.38. 
Shurkin said the chemical agent was carried by a Bash Air 3 unguided projectile, which was produced by the Bashar Ayah Al Naz Brigade, a rebel group affiliated with the Free Syrian Army. 127. However, following Shurkin's announcement, Western governments said that they had yet to see any evidence that backs up the assertion that anyone besides the Assad regime had the ability to use chemical weapons. 128. The Russian report was not released. 129. The OPCW fact-finding mission in Syria. On the 29th of April, 2014, the Director General Amitu Zomaku of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, OPCW, announced the creation of an OPCW mission to establish the facts surrounding allegations of the use of chlorine gas for hostile purposes in Syria. 130. The Syrian government has agreed to their mission. 131. On the 27th of May, 2014, members of the mission were ambushed and briefly held by gunmen in rebel-held territory as it headed toward Kafazitar to investigate the alleged chlorine gas. Attacks. 132. According to the Associated Press, the OPCW said that the captive members of the mission were later released after the intervention by Syria's main opposition group. 132. The opposition Hama Media Center said the attack on the convoy was carried out by President Bashar Assad's forces. 133. In its third report dated the 18th of December, 2014, the mission concluded that chlorine was used in the villages of Talmens, al Taymana and Kafazitar, but did not assign blame. 47. In early 2015 the mission disclosed previously undeclared traces of sarin and VX precursor compounds in a Syrian government military research site, the Scientific Studies and Research Center, where use of those compounds had not been previously declared. 134, 135, the UNOPCW Joint Investigative Mechanism. On the 7th of August. 2015, the United Nations Security Council adopted Resolution 2235-2015 to establish a joint investigation mechanism GIN, to identify the perpetrators responsible for the use of chemical weapons in Syria. The resolution was drafted by the United States and adopted by all 15 members of the Security Council. 136, 137. The Jin issued its first report on the 12th of February 2016. 138. The second was released on the 10th of June 2016. 139. While the third report was issued on 30 August 2016. 2. The third report blamed the Syrian government for two gas attacks in 2015, and accused ISIS of using mustard gas. 140. In October 2016, the late fourth report of task force determined that the Syria had conducted at least three gas attacks in 2015. 140. On the 26th of October 2017. The Jim delivered the report, 37 pages, to the UN.141, in late 2017. The Jim released its report on the April Khan Sheikh Hun chemical attack, attributing responsibility for the incident to the Syrian government.38, 142, 143. 144, Reuters reported in 2018 that, according to OPCW and diplomatic sources, an OPCW chemical marker analysis linked the destroyed stockpile samples to sarin samples from the 21st of August 2013 Delta attack and also to interviewees. Samples from Khan Sheikh Houn and Khan Al Asal attack sites. These findings were not released because they were outside the OPCW's mandate. 145. 
146, the UNOPCW Investigation and Identification Team. On the 8th of April, 2020, the OPCW Investigation and Identification Team, LIT, set up in 2018, issued its first report, determining that the Syrian Air Force was the perpetrator of the chemical weapon attacks in Latayman Adot, 147, on the 12th of April, 2021. The OPCW LIT released second report, which concluded that there were reasonable grounds to believe that the Syrian Arab Air Force carried due to chlorine attack on eastern Sarakab on the 4th of February 2018. 148. Findings of another OPCW investigation report published by the LIT in July 2021 revealed that Syrian regime had engaged in confirmed chemical attacks at least 17 times. Out of the reported 77 chemical weapon attacks attributed to the regime's security forces. 149, 150. The third report published in the 27th of January, 2023 by the OPCW LIT concluded that the Assad regime was responsible for the 2018 Dalma chemical attack which killed at least 43 civilians and injured over 500. Eight other allegations. In February 2012, a defector from the Syrian Arab Army, a lieutenant who worked in the chemical weapons department, told Turkish newspaper Hari Daily News that BZCS, chlorine benzylate, which damages people's nerves and makes them fade away, is being used in Bab AMR. He said that some Syrian soldier had been supplied with gas masks for protection. 151, in December, 2012, the Syrian government claimed that chemical plant Sisako 29 kilometers, 18 mi, east of Aleppo was taken by rebel fighters from the Al-Nusra front. The factory produces chlorine among other chemicals. 152, on the 5th of November, 2014, the Syrian UN ambassador Bashar al-Jafari, said terrorist organizations stole about 200 tons of chlorine gas from the factory. 153 in January 2013, U.S. State Department cables showed a U.S. investigation had found evidence that the Syrian military had used a chemical weapon on 23 December 2012 which was the first time an official investigation documented chemical weapon use in the conflict. 154, on the 4th of June, the French. Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius similarly declared certainty that the Syrian government had used sarin on multiple instances. 155, on the 30th of May, 2013. Turkish newspapers reported that Turkish security forces had arrested Al-Nusra front fighters in the southern provinces of Mersin and Adana near the Syrian border and confiscated 2 kilograms of sarin gas. 156. The Turkish ambassador to Moscow later said that tests showed the chemical seized was not sarin but antifreeze. 157. In September 6 of those arrested in May were charged with attempting to acquire chemicals which could be used to produce sarin. The indictment said that it was possible to produce sarin gas by combining the materials in proper conditions. 158, on the 1st of June, 2013, the Syrian army reported that it seized two cylinders holding the nerve agent sarin in an area it said was controlled by opposition fighters. The Syrian government declared the two cylinders as abandoned chemical weapons and told the OPCW that the items did not belong to them. 159, on 14 June 2014, the joint OPCW UN mission confirmed that the cylinders contained sarin. 159, on the 7th of July 2014. The UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon informed the U.N. Security Council about the findings. 159, in September 
2015 a U.S. official stated that ISIS was manufacturing and using mustard agent in Syria and Iraq, and had an active chemical weapons research team. 160, 161, in February, 2016. The CIA director John O'Brennan said on 60 Minutes that there were a number of instances where ISIL has used chemical munitions on the battlefield. 162, on the 8th of April, 2016.